You know, I was watching this video from Droy Media, cool channel, you should go check it out. And he was showing how to put text and use different selectors in Photoshop to put text behind a little boat. And it was kind of cool. And I just realized there's something I do in Photoshop that maybe it'll help you. Maybe it won't. I'm not a Photoshop expert by <laughs> any stretch of the imagination, but I do do some things in there when I'm creating thumbnails that I would share with you. Now, here I am in Photoshop, nothing fancy. I'm just going to blow in this. Now, that's just a picture of some video I did, whatever. I, I probably wouldn't use this for a thumbnail. I just wanted to show you something real cool. Now, a lot of people go in, they start selecting things and upping the brush and selecting and doing stuff like that, or they mask things out or whatever. There's this tool in here that many people don't use, which is brilliant. Pull down select and you look at subject. It will try and determine, look at that, what your subject is in your picture or your video or whatever. Now, this isn't anything fancy. This isn't some raw file or something. This is just a 1920 by 1080 screenshot I took out of one of my videos. Now, if you take the little tool that allows you to do multiple selections, you can go clean this up. If I hold down the minus, it removes stuff. If it's on plus, it adds stuff. I can use the left and right bracket to make this smaller or littler. I don't really care so much about this because the trick I'm going to show you, uh, maybe I'll add that piece in, add this in. I'll just check real quick. Yeah, it's going around. It's got my ears. Sure, it's missing some hair. I don't care. Sure, it goes around there. Maybe I'll pull this little piece out just for fun by holding down the Alt minus. Uh, put that little piece in, maybe. I'm getting too particular already for my needs. Okay, that's as far as I want to go. Now, I have everything selected about me in this. Well, why am I doing this? Because, let's unlock this background. Because right now, on this layer, I have me selected. If I hit Control J, I believe it would be Command J on the Mac, what happens is it makes a copy of what's selected. Now, you'll see what just happened. I just made a copy of me. It isn't perfect, but it's cool because I can do stuff like this. Let's say I select the background, turn it on and off, doesn't matter. That's me, I'm now isolated. Now let's say I select the background, I go down to maybe uh, something like, oh, let's change it to black and white. And what happened was it just changed everything to black and white. It left me alone because I am isolated up here. And let's select this layer right here. This is just the me layer right there. And many people also don't know this under this camera raw filter. What that does is it handles raw files and everything else and you can edit them, but it'll work on JPEGs too like this. Now, you can't crush them and go crazy with them like uh, you could with a raw file, but it has some uses. Maybe I can sit here and play with the blacks a little bit. Maybe move the whites around a little bit. Play with the shadows and uh, say okay. Before after, before, after. And look at that. And I like that. Now I could also do stuff like I could just remove this whole thing. Let's say I want to come along and put something like uh, this in here. You know, let's drag this behind me. And there I am. So we have this layer back here. Let's just make it bigger. Well, let's make it a lot of bigger. I've isolated myself. I could do all sorts of wacky stuff. Really, really simple. In fact, let me show you this one. I'm going to turn off this layer and I have this layer right here. Let's see what Photoshop can do when I say select the subject. Well, what's the subject in here? Look at this. It did a pretty legit job. I hope you can see that in there. That's pretty legit. It's gone through. It's even taken the blue out there. It's got all that all the way around. The only thing it didn't pick up is this little piece of blue. Uh, I would just click on this thing, zoom it up. I hit the minus. Maybe click in there a little bit and look at that. You rasterize this layer so I can make a copy. Again, I'm going to control J and now I got, look at that. How cool is that? Anyway, that's a really good way to isolate your layers and do stuff like that. Okay. Remember we have this black and white back here type thing. Um, the other thing I can do because of this is as Droid showed you, uh, let's type in some text. Let's type in, uh, in fact, let's undo that. Let's just do something crazy like this. It's not going to be that great. It's not going to look good, but let's do it like behind text. There we go. There's some behind text. 
And you'll see, because when I create that layer, it's behind me. So I could do all sorts of stuff uh, with this. I would probably do something like this is behind text. Maybe I'd throw this over here like that. Probably add a drop shadow to the text just for the heck of it. Sure, why not? Yeah, why not? I might even put this on some type of grid thing. Let's create over here. Let's go in and now yeah, let's click black. We'll do this and we're just going to create a rectangle. Maybe like this. Maybe put this thing over here. Let's drag this behind our new text. Cool. Maybe put this thing down here like this. Maybe hold this in like this or something like that. Sure. And remember it's behind the text and it's behind me. There's me. Right? And uh, maybe on that, let's add a stroke. Right there. Uh, let's add a yellow stroke. Just make it, may turn out awful, whatever. That ain't bad. Maybe we'll make it bigger. Let's make it uh, five. Sure. Um, I might even put the, take off the black and white. Yeah, I mean, that looks pretty weird, but hey, you know, I'm just showing you how to do this. So you can put things behind yourself and find things. The real key to this video that I wanted to show you is this subject. It's an amazing thing. Uh, it works. Sometimes it doesn't work perfectly. Sometimes it does work really great. I've had product shots in here. I've had like uh, things where I've taken pictures and it will find that as a subject. I've been able to isolate things. I've been able to do some pretty neat things with this. And uh, I just wanted to show that to you if you're into creating your own thumbnails. And uh, it might be good if I maybe went in here and, you know, learned how to spell one day. How about that? <laughs> yes, sir. Spelling. It's your friend. And there you go. Don't forget to go over to Basic Filmmaker University. I don't know what's holding you back. It, I don't spam you. I don't add you. Um, I give you, there's like five or six free courses over there. There's free files and free assets and stuff like that. And there's all sorts of stuff that happens behind the scenes that you get to take advantage of that you'll never hear about unless you go over there and sign up. So go check it out. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Droy Media, by the way. And we'll see you next time. I love when I'm doing something and it doesn't work. What is this piece of right there? What is that? What is that? Get out of here. Get out of my life. Undo, 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 undo.